Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 95 Ocean Block. <laughs> and in this episode, we really are gonna build those reactors and get them going. <laughs> so let's go see what I've been up to. I um, have been busy getting this thing set up. Um, this is just the bare bones uh, of the machines. I had to fiddle around with them, get all their parts, the, um, the ports, and the valves, and the adapters. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of similar to like the big reactor reactors. Um, I actually had more problems putting together the turbine than the reactor because um, it was a little bit unclear but I figured it out I was missing oh, one coil I thought it was just eight that I needed but I needed the one in the middle too so when I put that in uh, it was golden uh, so yeah basically they're um, a multi-block now so they're set up and ready to go um, we just gotta do stuff um, also all I had to do was put these next to a valve but um, they're not heating it up as much as I thought it would it's like only 3.30 so I might need to add more of those but um, I am getting, I've got quite a bit of lithium dust sitting around already, so maybe that'll be good. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll need more. Uh, but I think I might just be able to um, put more valves and more of these little heaters, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to play with it. It's, um, it's going as fast as it can get. Uh, get it. And this isn't running out of water or anything, so the little aqueous accumulator can keep up with it. But I don't know um, if it's going to be able to keep up with a reactor, which is probably one of the first things we need to get over here, is a water source. Um, so we got one more aqueous, let's see if it'll work. Awesome. Um, I guess we'll see if this can keep up. I think we might need some of the better cable though. Is it cable? Do I have an automated? This is universal cable. What is the fluid called? Oh, it's mechanical pipe. Um, let's get this. I want to just go ahead and get the ultimate, I guess. I don't think 
think I have uh, any of these. I've never taught it any of those. So we can do this. Oh. I don't know why it won't just do that. Uh, or Oop. R. Oop. And R. Oop. Awesome. Okay. Um, now we should be able to get. good stuff now. Oh, and I'm gonna need my configurator. Boop, boop. Does that automatically go in? No. There it goes. We want it to get in there as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, that's pretty fast. It's pretty fast because this thing doesn't really have yeah it's only got like a 4,000 reservoir oh that is pretty fast actually I think oh and you can augment this Ooh, we might need to we could increase the tank but that doesn't really matter it's got a huge tank to put into uh, increases process speed but reduces I probably can't put that in there um, but we could try it because I know I'll probably use it anyway let's just make one See if it'll go in there. I gave it four times the amount of internal storage. Yeah, no, it won't go in there. Darn it! Um, I don't think there's. take one. But what are you supposed to put in the other slot? I don't know. 
but we got that going. Is it coming in? It looks like it's coming in a lot faster. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Um, I mean, I haven't even turned it on yet. It's already cool. Um, but we definitely want to get the coolant going in there. Um, worst case, I can put like make like a little array and put a couple of them here because that seems like it's producing a lot of water. It seems like it to me. Uh huh. Uh, but <laughs> we're gonna have to be really careful with this because we're really close to the base and if this explodes it'll kill my portal, the turbine, probably this little doodad. Um, I don't know, I don't know how big it'll go if it'll go over here or not. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking the, I might have, should have put the rotor, the re, uh, turbine on this side and uh, the reactor on the other side but then it's closer to my island I don't know I'm just so scared uh, but I got this alarm <laughs> I want to see what it sounds like um, if, it, if it does anything um, I need a lever oh I got a lever nice so, um, can I put it up here? Oh, 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 that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, that does exactly what I thought it would do. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to have this, um, this thing when it gets, uh, when it reaches a high temperature, I want it to trigger the alarm and deactivate itself. Um, I suggest you do this in, in the manual. Um, so I'll need to run redstone up there. Um, but redstone doesn't travel up very well um, by itself. So we might need to um, Look in the project. Is it Project Red still? I don't know. Uh, project. That project. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this used to be like the coolest mod ever. Uh, but you can make this red alloy wire um, that will allow you to run redstone up a wall. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we just need to make uh, some red red alloy ingots. Um, yeah, we can do that. of it. Um, I need to stick this in the furnace. Um, go in there. Awesome. Uh, I just need a little bit uh, to run up there. Uh, 
trying to remember what the website said. Um, I think it was the RS Latch. circuit plate. Um, oh, that is so hard to find. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's get rid of all of these things. I already made them. suit helmet up there. That's my goal. I thought, I want, I want these blown in pellets and uh, then we should be able to start getting a mecha suit, which would be really cool. This is the right uh, doodad. Let me see. Yeah, that looks right. Sweet. Okay. got that we got the wire um yeah i really want to get it the safety shut off first before i hook everything up to it <laughs> um that way i don't have a boo-boo okay also i've been getting phantoms coming through here and they just basically um try to attack me and they catch on fire and they die <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. We need to get this guy to go up there. Oh no, I can't. I 
left enough room over here. is powered. Okay, so that should turn on, but I don't want it to um, don't want it to turn on yet. Okay, okay. Nice. <laughs> So all I had to do is place a little wire there. Um, I have to play with that some more. I don't think that's right, uh, but I think when this goes off, it should... No, I think, I think it might need a button. Okay. Um, but what I want to do is maybe get some of the machines laid out to produce the fuel for this um, fuel tank. Uh, heated cooling tank. That's going to be the steam. Um, a noise tank, uh, which I have over here. We need to get some of the radioactive barrels. So um, we need to dispose of our waste, basically. Um, but let me get the the fuel started. I guess what is it? Fissile fuel. Processed fissile fat. Okay. We need an isotopic centrifuge. Is that uranium, uranium oxide, hexafluoride, hydrochloric acid, okay, we need uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid make uranium hexafluoride that gets fed into the isotropic centrifuge to turn into fissile fuel okay um, so we need uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid so okay uranium oxide is yellow cake uranium in a chemical oxidizer? Well, I guess I need that too. What is this? Uh, chemical dissolution chamber. We need to put fluoride through. It's sulfuric acid. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I forgot about the isotopic. The isotopic centrifuge. That too. Okay, so. <laughs> 
uh, yellow cake uranium is just smelted uranium uh, in an enrichment chamber. We can totally do that. Um, we have tons of uranium. Uh, so we don't need anything special for that. I think I just took down my enrichment chamber um, that was producing, it was processing my cobalt because that was the only thing that I couldn't do in um, like the thermal expansion stuff. Um, so we're gonna need to set this up. We can just auto smelt that or have it keep like a couple grand of uranium powder. So let's go over there and set that up. Um, oh, we need to get an auto process. Should have put that down. down and um, automated fluoride dust because we need it for this process. Um, I could, I think this is an enrichment chamber, I could just put it in here. Boop. And then um, I need some uranium. I need to get a uranium. And tell it, uh, maybe I'll have it keep uh, 5,000, like the fluoride dust. Why not? <laughs> it's a nice round number. that away, fluorite problem, or our yellow cake uranium is um, being produced. Awesome. Okay, so that wasn't the end of the line. That was just the beginning for uh, uranium. We still have to do sulfuric acid. We need a chemical infuser for that. Um, and we need water vapor, which um, we can get from a, a rotary condensator. So that's for the water, sulfuric acid. We also need the sulfur trioxide, uh, which is oxygen, oxygen and sulfur dioxide. So that's two more machines. So oxygen can be produced in the electrolytic separator. And then we need sulfur dioxide, which is a chemical oxidizer with sulfur dust. And I think we should have um, lots of sulfur that we can process up for this. Um, what can we process it in? Pulverizer. Get one for one. Is there anything better? Um, pressure just gets one. OK. 
Okay, um, so we can set that up too. Um, let's get sulfur. I may have already taught the system how to do it. I did a long time ago. Okay, so it already knows how to make sulfur. Sulfur dust. I just need to get it out of the 128 and uh, put it over here with the 5002. Why not? We got gobs of it. Get it all processed up, ready to go. Okay. Um, so we're gonna need a few machines. Um, I think a plan of attack would be to start with this isotopic centrifuge and work my way backwards. Uh, so that I don't miss any steps. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Okay, let's go back out there. Oh, I didn't set it. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so I guess we got some room over here. Isotopic centrifuge looks really cool. <laughs> That's nice. Um, so, what do we got to go in here? Uh, it looks like it probably needs power. So, um, This thing breaks everything. Okay, so let's get a point. Point. And we'll light this section up. With carrots. Carrot power. Okay, you got power. Okay, and we got, um, we can get some more power cables out here. I'm thinking I might go ahead and, no, nah, this should be plenty. So, for what I need. I don't know how many machines I'm going to have to... Haha, <laughs> take that. Um, all right, so this is the fissile fuel. We need the uranium hexafluoride sent there. Uranium hexafluoride which is a chemical infuser. Uh-oh. You know, I might just go ahead and teach it a chemical infuser in case I need another one. Chemical infuser or... Okay, what do we got again? We need to produce uranium hexafluoride and we need uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid. 
So we need two things input this and one thing output. Um, uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid. Um, so we need the chemical oxidizer with the yellow cake uranium. Chemical oxidizer. Personal chest. Okay. Uh. Okay, there we go. Chemical oxidizer. This one will be easy because it just has to put. So we're going to just pull it directly out of the system with an exporter. Get this started off. Um, oh my god. There's a bird outside my window going crazy. more cables. tangled mess this is. <laughs> it's a lot of different steps. Awesome. There we go. So now I should be able to tell it um, to export uranium. Oh, no, that's... 
that's next to it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nuts! I broke it. Okay. Um, I need to get this little guy right there. There we go. Now he's going. Getting us the uranium oxide. Sweet. Okay, <laughs> one down. Um, now we need the hydrofluoric acid, which is a chemical dissolution chamber on the other side. Okay. chamber. And we'll need power for it to awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um we're gonna need Hydrofluoric acid, which is sulfuric acid and fluoride. So we need to bring in a fluoride here. It's not fluoride dust. chat narrator narrate system i pushed the wrong narrator button. off <laughs> control b is <laughs> narrator i meant control g okay so we were at the fluoride Let's go turn it off because it's turning all my stuff into dust. Where is it? Pressure. I think I set this pressure up to do that. Swore I needed dust. I swore I needed dust. All right, all right, all right. We got it. We got it fixed. Um. So now we need to um, get another exporter. chamber okay so now we need to feed this with sulfuric acid which is in a chemical infuser
Well, I'll let them take the tanks. Okay, chemical infuser. which is water vapor and sulfur trioxide. Water vapor and sulfur trioxide. So we need a rotary condensator. supposed to be making water vapor. I uh, guess we need some water for it now too. Um, I guess I could just get another aqueous. Uh, I don't think I have another one. <laughs> wow. I'm a slacker. Oh, I meant my backpack. All right, we got the water. from the right. So now we need sulfur trioxide, which is another chemical infuser. Oh wow, we might need several more infuser. Oh boy, this is getting confusing. 
Um, I guess let's get the power cable down. And put that there. What did we need this for? We needed it. my chain. Sulfuric acid. We need sulfur trioxide. So we got, oh, we need oxygen, sulfur dioxide. Oh boy, I don't know. Um, I might need to space this out further. Oxidizer, okay. Chemical oxidizer. No. Chemical oxidizer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, chemical oxidizer. That needs sulfur dust. Okay, so. Oh my goodness. We need a exporter. back. Aha! Aha! So, what are we getting? It's going over here. Sulfur dioxide. Nice. oxygen from here and that's made in the electrolytic separator yes system all this I think it's um processing stuff so I might need to go help it making sulfur dust uh, so mm -hmm. that 
it's going to be busy a while. So I can just put it in this pulverizer. Um, what was it that I needed? I needed a gold, an iron, and two osmium dust. Gold. And iron. This is getting close. <laughs> this is getting really, really close. Um, so we need right here power and we also need water over here. So that works out pretty good because we can just pop that over there and get water. And it's already getting hydrogen and oxygen. And I want it to dump the hydrogen. Because um, we're only going to use the oxygen. Awesome. So now we just got to tell this. I think this was the front. We want it to get our oxygen sure that the gases are getting injected to the left. And then I need to tell this to cyan one. Output two. That should work. No? So we should do input two. Input two is on the front. Okay, I don't know why it's not. Sulfur dioxide. Oxygen, sulfur dioxide. In a K. 
chemical infuser. Mini chemical infuser. I wonder if it matters that this is on the left. Okay, my brain is fried. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with this off camera and try to get it finished up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.